You obviously are friends with Connor. Um, have you trained with him? I, I've never sparred him. Okay. But I did train with him. Uh, I've seen him work on the bags. I've seen him work on his pod work, and you know how he moves in the ring. Uh, and you know, I was impressed. I was impressed. I'll admit, you know, I've, I've seen MMA fighters uh, do boxing skills, and, and, and you're saying, okay, they're okay, but they're not going to be any. They're not going to be a boxer. Right. But Connor definitely has the skill. You know, he was a great boxer. Uh, as an amateur, he was very good. You know, he, he, he trained in Dublin. He, won, he was in the national championships a few times. So, you know, he has great experience. Ireland's amateur boxing system is very, very tough and very strong. So, you know, he had, he's, he had good learning uh, there. And, you know, he obviously carried that in. That's his main strength in, in, in MMA. Yeah, you're right. Um, and now, what about, would you ever consider going into MMA? Because you talked about boxing yeah. and the MMA and if anyone else could For do me, it. No, no. Uh, no interest I, there. I'd say <laughs> I'm claustrophobic, so I don't like anybody kind of put me in choke codes or, or, or like I wouldn't like anybody popping my arm out of place. That there's stuff that's not for me. But uh, you know, I, I do enjoy watching it. I do enjoy it. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I mean, he started watching MMA because of Conor McGregor, and that's the truth. You know, I'm not going to say I was a, a crazy MMA fan, but since Conor's been in it, I've paid a lot more attention to it, and I've watched a lot more fights. So. You know, uh, I can say he, he's made me a fan. Oh. Um. How did you uh, develop that friendship with uh, Connor? Connor reached out to me after uh, I won the World Amateur Championship and uh, just congratulated me and stuff. And you know, what? it was an honor because someone of his uh, sporting magnitude, where oh. he is at, and uh, him reaching out to me, and I was like, whoa, this is crazy. And, well, I felt very grateful that he that he that he gave me some kind words, and then we kind of kept in touch. After we lost with Diaz, I got him his uh, his main sparring partner for the rematch. Uh, it worked the tree, you know, and our friendship grew from then and then and then. Uh, we done the event together in Belfast, and we were on the stage, and I asked him in front of the crowd what he what he walked out, and uh, he said, "Yeah, it would be an honor," and you know, he did. He stuck to his word, and and what what a guy for doing. What did he say about you flipping the bird towards the judges? <laughs> he was honest. You know, he said, "That's that's you're being yourself. Like I be myself, be yourself, and that's that's the best thing you can do. You know, and that's 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 true Irish honesty. Uh, that's what I was. I, I was being honest through emotion, as he does. You know, in the ring and uh, in his character. You know, it's it's just what we are." Yeah, I have one last question here. Marcos Madonna, awkward opponent for Floyd Mayweather. Yep. Now Conor McGregor, I've seen some footage of him. Looks very awkward the way he boxes. He's a southpaw. Yeah. Can that pose some problems for Floyd? Anything can cause problems. You know, it's, this is boxing, so you know uh, he definitely comes in at angles. Uh, definitely can punch. So you know, if he lands, it, it could be a telling, a telling shot, and you know, we never know what happens then. You think he's got that type of power, McGregor? Yeah. 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 He's a big puncher. That he's left got, hand. He's got that. Have you seen his, his, hands, hand. his, his hands are so big. His hands are like twice really? the size of mine. I'm telling you, they're really big. He's got big shovel hands. It's like just boom. So, yeah. and he's around the same height with Floyd. I think around 5'8", yeah, right? Yeah. yeah five, so. No, he's, he's a bit bigger than me. I'm 5'8", and he's a bit bigger than me. So, so that's know, what some people have, have said, that he's actually large, uh, taller than 5'8". Yeah. yeah, and he's big. Yeah. He's naturally big. You know, like he's... He was made for this. <laughs> I mean, like, I stop saying him, and he's like, boom. You know, he, when you see him on TV, he looks like trim and stuff. Obviously, when he's down the way, he's trim. But naturally, he's walking around, he's just big. So you think he can make 147? be very tough. He'll make it, but it'll be very tough. Because what does he fight in MMA? I mean, he's jumped around. I think he's comfortable at lightweight. Time, right? Yeah, so around like 155. 155. Yeah. It's 155. He competed in one of his first MMA at 145. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah he started uh, he lower, away, right? but then he, yeah. then he then uh, he met Diaz up at a, a higher weight too. I think around 170. 160, 170. 170. Yeah, mm -hmm. met Diaz at 170. And you know, fair play to him for doing that because he could have says, "I'll fit you 155." Mm -hmm. He went from 145 to 170 and then done it again. Yeah, yeah. you know, that's that takes a lot of a lot of, a lot of guts. And if he was a any of a lesser man, he would have said, nah, come down to 155. Yeah, it's like fighting a light heavyweight. Make it fur, but yeah. it's not. Yeah. He, didn't, he didn't do that. He just says, let's go, well, I'll, I'll fight you the way you beat me up.
You know, it's going to be interesting if this fight does happen. Floyd Mayweather is very good friends with the Diaz brothers, so you can have Diaz brothers there with him while promoting the fight, egging on McGregor. And McGregor, you know, he knows how to talk. <laughs> you know, has the talk. They, that's smack, man. They both know how to talk. Yeah, they both do. Sorry. I think McGregor talks a little better. <laughs> yeah, he definitely does. He's a little funnier. Yeah. He's got the right catchphrases. And he's so, got that Irish, that Irish cheekiness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we love it. So how do you usually celebrate after a fight? Just come back in, right? Have an after party and go for it. But uh, <laughs> for this one, I think there'll be after party, but I'll be taking it easy, have a nice meal with family, and straight back in the training camp when I come back home. Okay. And we got another fight uh, five weeks after in Australia, so, you know, busy, busy. Have you uh, been to Australia before? I have. I was in Darwin, uh, Australia, back in 2009, mm. and I uh, loved it. I won an amateur tournament there, so, you know, uh, it was great, and I'm looking forward to come back. There's, there's, I think there's around 2 million Irish people in Australia right now. Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. So there's a big, big Irish population. I've had about 2,000 people contacting me with tickets, so, <laughs> you know, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Yeah. Alright, well, thank you.